Alright, YouTube. What we finna do today, man? I have been call, calling around on some at some shops. Been doing some calling around to see how much would they cost to get the heads checked. So some people say 200. Some people say 150. So I'm gonna go with the shop that my guy had recommended, and they told me 150. So we about to take these heads off and take them to the shop. I forgot the name of the shop, but. We gonna get there. We gonna talk to the people. And see what they say. Get these heads checked. Hopefully they uh, check out good. That eliminate one problem. But we didn't go get the block checked, so that's not eliminating the block. But if the heads check back good, that means we eliminated one problem from it running hot. The second problem we eliminate from it running hot is putting new head gaskets on. So once we put the new head gaskets on, get the heads checked and they come back good, that's two out of three, I'd say. Cause we ain't checking the block for nothing. So that'll be two out of three. But anyway, let me take these heads back out, load them on the truck, and we gonna shoot these things down to the uh, machine shop. All right, right now we headed to go get the heads, man. He told me that two of the heads, both of the heads was warped. So, and three of the valves was leaking. So, that's what we about to go do. We about to go up here and talk to him. See what he charged to do what he do. But we had two warped heads and three leaking valves, he said. That's what he said. So, let's go up here and see what we got. All right, so while we, in the, while we got the heads back, what I'm about to get ready to do, I got to run out here to Brownsville, Tennessee. I'm about to drop my computer off the guy that did my first computer in my box Chevy, I'm about to drop the computer off. And I gave him the specs, the tire size, and all that good stuff, rear end, ratio. And he's gonna do my computer for me. And when I get back, I'm gonna go ahead and take the springs, seals off. Cause I got my stuff down here. My cam I got. Got my springs and my seals. Get all that good stuff. They say this is good stuff to use to lube the cam up with. But I'm gonna do the cam last because I don't wanna put no lube on there and then it slide off of the cam because the motor's sitting up, but I don't know. I don't know. But uh Yep, they said uh, that the heads were warped and he knocked off 10 thousandths. That's how much he said he knocked off for the heads. So I should be good to go. Man, we almost there. A budget. So I went to the junkyard, got a throttle body off. I had to bend that back a little bit. I put a bolt in there so it can, uh, so it won't be sucking air. All of that good stuff. So. I don't know, YouTube, man, we, we, we almost there. Next thing I gotta do is I got to do my dry shaft. That'll be, uh, that'll be next. I call myself running a fueling system. I just got this covered up. So I wanted to run it right there. Hook it up to the intake. So, I don't know. Got the wiring harness. It's an eBay wiring harness. Uh, it's like a hit or miss with these harnesses, they say. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try it and see if this harness is good. I, I hope it is. But anyway, let's run out here to Brownsville, Tennessee, and get this drop this computer off. Well, if he got a computer, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and just get his computer, and he's gonna get my computer. I'm gonna take the SS out for a spin today.
right now, what we about to do is we about to get ready to take the springs and see it. Got something up under there to hold the valve down. Just gonna tap, tap here. Make sure that uh, seal is down on there like I want it. Make sure it's down there like I want it. Stay yeah, as you can see, these are new springs right here. New springs sit up a little higher. And the old springs sit a little lower, as you can see. Alright, as y'all can see, I got the new springs and seals in. See, it sits a little taller. This spring sits a little taller, too. But, let me do this. I got this whole head. All right, that's one head done. Got that one head complete. Now I'm about to get ready to go ahead and start on this second head real quick. Let's get started on this second head. All right, as you can see, that's 16 springs. I think that may be 16 seals. So I got everything off and replaced. Got my head sitting over here. We'll eventually put everything back in. That's it. Yep, everything is in. So, we just waiting. We almost there, you two. We almost there. We almost there. Um. I don't know what else next I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not sure what next I'm gonna do, but anyway, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Next video, I should have the motor in the car. Next video, I should have this motor in the car. I don't know if it'll be cranking up, but we'll have it in the car. We're getting the issues uh, with the dry shaft, um, running the throttle cable, all of that good stuff. Ran the fuel already. Fueling system already. So, that's about it, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost there. Almost there.